Facebook Live, Facebook Live. We have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Derek. This is Watchman Derek. Yahuda, Israel, also known as past Derek on the early what I see through scripture today in prayer line on this 22nd day in December 2022. Oh, that's big. 22 2022. What they gonna do today? They like them them tools, man. What them, them devils gonna do today? We'll figure it out. Okay. Second Corinthians 13 and 5, y'all. We're still in the Prove It series. <clears throat> We're going to wind it up and get to our next series, y'all. But how many of y'all enjoyed the uh, the Prove It series? Is you getting something out of it? Was it worth it? Y'all like the Prove It series? See anyone? Uh, Taylor, good to see you in here. Nicole Robinson, Yamina Yahoo, Battle in the Building. Uh... Yosef holding his post down as usual for years and years and years faithfully. Hallelujah. Who are mad at Yahoo Dolls in the building? Mo, what you know? Melissa Green in the house and uh, my mother in law and my mama. And you know, we got Woods, Shalom, Shalom, Boca Tov to Mr. Woods in the building. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Y'all, y'all appreciating this, uh, this, uh, Prove It series. Y'all enjoy it. Back to St. Chris 13 to 5. <clears throat> we might be buttoning it up today. We'll see what y'all say. <clears throat> Let's look at it. Let the tag games begin then. Look what it says, y'all. It says, examine yourselves to see. Whether you're in the faith, right? And then prove it. Pro prove you're in the faith. Prove, prove your own self before y'all. You prove it. Are y'all with me? <clears throat> know you not your own self? How that the word is in you? Yahushua Mashiach. Can you prove that the word is in you? Except you pre, be prejudged. Except you finish. Except, except you forever a religious person. Forever in the day. Now, now, if you look at this particular scripture, right, the challenge is, there you go, Barbara. Good to see you in here. You know, I knew you'd be in here. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 13 and 5 for whoever just chimed in. Hallelujah. Um, when we get to the point that we're willing to do an uh, honest assessment of ourselves to the point that we're not doing it to please anyone else. Did y'all hear what I said? We're not doing an assessment with religious pressure. You know how we like to front, spin our last on the, um, you know, at the family reunion, especially at the uh, high school reunion, right? Or the college reunion, right? Especially the high school reunion, right? Because a lot of people stop at high school. So at the high school reunion, you know how, you know, we spend everything we got. We ain't got a car, but we rented one that night. You know what I mean? We might dress bummy, but we bought something to wear that night. A coat Don Deems, good to see you in here. You know what I mean? We finally brushed our teeth and got a haircut or got our, got our hair done, didn't we? For, 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 for the high school reunion, did, did we? 20 years later, we come in there 
on Floss Mall. We don't, we don't have no business cards. We went to Kinko's, got one business card made, or 10 of them. We're going to pass them hot jokers out and say we boss balling, ain't we? You know how folks is, don't you? <clears throat> we like to look the part, right? Don't we? <laughs> All right, Taylor. But y'all know what I'm talking about? We like to look the part, don't we? But in this particular scripture, this is personal. Examine yourself. Good to see you in here, Lena. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. You mean a Yahoo doing some tagging over there, boy. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. You do it. For you. This, 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 this examination process is for us to finally be honest with ourselves. Because some of us like little church titles and stuff, don't we? You know what I'm talking about? Now that's applicable because that's what folks do. Fake it until they make it real talk. If they're going to make it. But but on, on that high school reunion, 10-year high school reunion, 20-year high school reunion, oh, we come, we putting our best foot forward, ain't we? We dieting and going to the gym because we, cause we want everybody to see us in a certain light, don't we? But look at this. This says examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And this ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Right? The heart of man is so deceitful that not only do we like to fool other people, but we believe our own, our own lies. We believe uh, us and y'all is, is, is on good terms where we never did what he said. Some of us get a, a, a you know a burst of energy and we might might rock with him for a week or two. We ain't never did five years straight with him. Two years straight with him. Can I talk? But in our minds, come on, y'all. In our minds, us and y'all is first cousin on the best terms. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? Cut out the facade. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith and prove your own self. You prove it to you. You prove you can stop cussing and stop lying. Stop lusting. Be faithful. Walk in the call that Yah has put on your life. Walk worthy of the vocation. Walk worthy of the calling, of the responsibility to come along with the basura. Walk worthy of you do it for you. You prove it to yourself. Prove your own self. No, you're not your own self. This is this is a personal thing here. Bree, would it be? You know what we at? Second Corinthians thirteen and five. Pastor Kim Tinsley, good to see you in here. Are y'all with me? Second Corinthians thirteen and five. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith and prove it to you. Prove your own self. Don't you know you? How that the incorruptible seed, word of the living Elohim, is in you? Except you be prejudged, failed the test, lost in the sauce. You're always going to have a form of yaliness, but you ain't going to never live it. Denying the power thereof. The power to become new. Are y'all with me? Can we do the self-proof? This is the Prove It series, y'all. Can, can we prove it? Is we good? You going to prove it to who? Can somebody put me in there? Who you going to prove you saved to? Can somebody put me in there? Me? I'm going to prove I'm saved to me. I got to save myself from this untoward generation. I can preach to y'all, but me, myself, be a castaway. I'm, 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 I'm going to prove it to me, me, myself, and I. 
Can we do it? Can we do it? Put me in there. Me. I'm going to prove it to me. I'm going to prove that I'm saved to me. That I can stop cussing. That I can stop fussing. That I can stop uh, uh, holding grudges. That I can be faithful to y'all. Walking the call of my life. And who am I proving it to? Come on, somebody. Say me. I got five on it. Me. Is that all right? Now let's go to Romans 12, y'all. We're in the Prove It series, right? Let's, we're in the Prove It series, ain't we? Romans 12 and 1, look what it say. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, right? So listen to this. It's by the mercies of Yah. See, don't give me the tripping. I really want to preach this right now, but I'm going to slide over this and get to the point in the Prove It series, right? But I'm just going to touch on it as, I, as we uh, slide on the cross, right? Listen, I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercy of Yah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Oh, how I would like to teach y'all right now about... It's by his mercy that you're able to present your body a living sacrifice in the first place. Latricia Johnson, if I were to really stop here and park, I would start talking to y'all about, again, the fact, Denise Wilkins, good to see you in here. We're in Romans 12 and 1. But look, the fact that Paul had the revelation of when Judah was, was rejecting him rejecting what he was teaching, right? And he concluded that they count themselves unworthy for eternal life. They don't even understand. People don't be understanding what they're doing. If you're given the opportunity to be saved, it's because of his mercy, because he can just kill you and destroy you. And we deserve to be destroyed. If only people really knew, as scandalous as you is, and he going to take the time to clean you up, and he's the one that's going to present you blameless because he's the one going to do it. None of us can do it. None of us can do it. Only thing we bring to the table is belief, being willing to do it. Because if you're willing to do it and pursue it, he's the one that's going to do it. You can't do it. So it's by his mercy. It's your crazy self. Folks complaining about what they got to go through in order to be saved. When he could have left you, when he found you in your nativity, he told Israel. When he found you, when you was whooped and tore up, he said, I'm the one that cleaned you up and learned my, laid my skirt over you in Ezekiel. But to the point, I'm, I'm begging you, therefore, by the mercies of Yah, that you present your body a living sacrifice. Only thing you're doing is presenting your body. You can't clean yourself up. You're presenting your body, right, with the state of mind of being holy. You're presenting your body a living sacrifice with the state of mind of being holy, willingness to, to, to pursue holiness. And he the one that's going to do the work, quiet as it's kept. But let me slide on off this, right? I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercy of Yah, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to Yah, and it's reasonable. Super reasonable. Logan, good to see you in here. Romans 12 and 1. We're in the Prove It series. I think this is what? Uh, uh, prove It 6. And it's reasonable. It's your reasonable worship. But look what it say. Second verse. And be not conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You was already conformed to this world. Here we go. By his mercies, you're going to go through a transformation, a makeover. Right? You're going through a makeover. Why? So you can prove something. Ain't this the proof it series? See, some of us. Um, don't mind proving to other people like the high school reunion, right? 
folks like to prove they're doing well in life even when they're not doing well in life. Right? Some of us like to prove we're doing well in life to people. Prove we're doing well in life even when we ain't doing a well in life. Folks like the facade. Fake it. Fake it. Are y'all with me? Folks like that. We don't mind proving that we boss balling the folks even when we ain't boss balling. But this particular set of scriptures is telling you to prove the people you saved. Are y'all with me? Straight up. Yeah, they don't have it either. You right, Taylor. We like to floss and fake it. Are y'all with me? Fake it like we make it. And we ain't even making it. But this is telling us, look, when we was in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, it's, we need to accept reality or whether or not we have a true relationship with Yah based on how we live in. Not hypothetically, not, 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 not putting it off on him. We show love to put the responsibility of our salvation on Jesus, don't we? He did it all. Jesus alone and all them old cliches and slogans. Don't we like that? But the truth of the matter, we're supposed to be baptized into his death. And like he was raised up by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. We're supposed to rise up and, and, and deny ourselves. If any man come after me, let him deny himself. That's our job. The flesh lusts against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another. So you can't do what you want to do. The Bible told you, you can't do what you want to do. So the Bible told you, you can't do what you want to do. So we walk deceived. Right? Willingly to see. No. We're proving it. Don't you know yourself? That's personal. But right here, talk to the folks that was willing to prove you balling. Is you living good? You on top of the world financially? Things is going well in your life? You ready, you ready to lie and prove that? The other folks will prove this. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why? That you may prove what's good, acceptable, and the perfect will of Yah. So we didn't graduate it now. He tried to get us to overcome our deceitful minds and stop judging ourselves on a curve. Don't we do it? We judge ourselves on a curve. Us and Yah is good no matter what we do. But everybody else is a devil. Let us tell it, huh? Everybody else is a devil when, when they do what we do. But when we do it, us and y'all got this special package going on. A package that doesn't exist. A package that doesn't exist. We made it up in the figment of our own imagination. That's why Jeremiah 17 and 9 said that the heart of man is, is deceitful above all things. Because we made up a pass for us. Us and Yah is good. I'm going to heaven no matter what. That's what we did in our mind. But everybody else is going to be held accountable. Let us tell it, huh? JB, good to see you in here, sir. We're in Romans 12 and 1 now. Really two, but Romans 12 and 1 and 2. How about that? So he's begging us that we present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, and it's our reasonable worship. That's the only way you can worship him. In spirit and in truth, come clean. Because you're seen. He see you. And be not conformed to this world. You already did that by yourself. You were born to do that. You were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. 
And be not conformed to this world. But be transformed. Come on, y'all. Let's change. Come on, y'all. Let's change. Come on, y'all. Let's change. Let's be transformed from the children of disobedience into the children of obedience. Let's 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 change. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. Why do you say transformed? Because we was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. We was conformed to this world already. We're coming anew. We're doing something different. But there's a reason. There's a reason. He changing you. So he can use you to change others. He want he want to show you off. He want to show you. He want he want people to see your good works and magnify our Father which is in heaven. So be not conformed to this world. We already was born doing that. Born in sin and shaped in iniquity, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, changed. 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 Can somebody put in change me? Change me? Can somebody say change me? Can somebody type change me? Is that too much? There are too many words? It's easy to go to one, two route? Can somebody say change me? And be not conformed to this world. But be transformed, changed by the renewing of your mind. How are you going to do it? By the renewing of your mind? By, by changing your, 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 your stinking thinking? And be not conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Think different. Think different. Think different. Think different. Think. Think different. Them thoughts come. Check them at the door. Don't let the don't let don't accept that thought. Tell that thought no. You gotta go. Don't let that thought come in and now you and that thought sitting there thinking crazy. Change me. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. But there's a reason. There's a reason. What's the reason? Because supposedly he saved you. You saved. He want to use you to save others. Can we talk today? Can we talk today? And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, changed. By the renewing of your mind, you ain't going to change unless you change your stinking thinking. Check the thought at the door. She's shaped bright, ain't she? Change your stinking thinking. Instead of crotch checking, checking crotches. Can I preach on this level? <clears throat> and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Think different. Why? Why he wants you to think different? Because with the state of mind you got, you can't prove nothing. But that you're a hypocrite. You can't prove nothing, but you're a hypocrite. We we definitely can uh, prove we got a form of yawliness, but we're going to deny the power thereof. We ain't going to live nothing. You got some deep cats, boy. They, they they whipping out maps and uh, and uh, all the uh, the forefathers and the fake scholars. Oh man, we we, we man information highway. Oh, we got all kind of deep jokers running around here that'll still cuss you out and screw you, <laughs> screw you over and screw you, lie. Like little boys, little girls, sexually sick and weird. Are y'all with me? Talk back to me. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renew renewing of your mind that you can prove. 
This is the Prove It series, y'all. Prove it. I see you, mother. Prove it. Huh? So you can prove. Now who are we proving it to? Now who are we proving it to? We're proving it to others. We in the prove it business, y'all. How many of y'all knew that? We in the prove it business. Kind of rough for those who say, I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. <laughs> I ain't got to prove nothing to who you think. I don't care what people think. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. Okay. You ain't got to prove nothing. Bible said our, our life is an open book, read of all men. You ain't got to prove nothing. You ain't got no secrets. And you say, now you got plenty of secrets if you 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 a religious devil. Ooh, that came out rough, didn't it? It's still true. Religious folks, you ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. Then you don't know Yah. Then you don't know the word. We was doing fine when Yah was saying, oh, oh, get a prove it list. Prove it to yourself. You ain't got to show nobody the list. Prove it to yourself. Then we get a little deeper. Now prove it to others. I ain't got to answer the number. Prove it to others. Yeah, you got to answer. You got to answer to him to whom we all have to do, which is Yah. And he told you, now prove it to them. Prove you, prove, prove you belong to me. To them. <clears throat> they don't even like me. Prove it to them. They ain't proving nothing to me. So what you trying to say? They going to hell, you going with them? Prove it to them. Prove you ain't holding a grudge. Prove you ain't holding a grudge. Prove, prove, prove. Prove you love them. Prove, prove it. You holler with your mouth. Prove it. Prove you love them. Prove it. It sound good. Joker want to knock on wood. <laughs> it sound good. Prove it. Romans twelve and two, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, changed by the renewing of your mind. How are you gonna change? You gonna change your stinking thinking? What's gonna change it? The word, thy word, if I hear it in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. People think their heart is that muscle in their chest to pump blood, but the biblical heart is your mind. You don't fall in love with the with the heart muscle in your chest. You fall in love in your mind. Your thoughts are consumed. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You're going to be changed by your stinking thinking. The commandments, what Yah said was on stone, but the stone is gone. Now it's written on the tables of your heart. The tables of your heart is the tables of your thoughts. Your mind, how you think. The world wants to make you new in Him. Period. Transform you by renewing of your mind. The way you think, them thoughts of holding grudges, kick it out. Them, thus, them lustful thoughts, kick it out. And how you run around here like a, a, a animal in heat. We ain't getting down like that no more. That's when we were dead. Heartbreaking to see nice looking, nice looking women young and beautiful, and the beauty worked against them. And the world get their hands on them, and they ain't got no sense. And they get ran through and tore up. It's one of the most heartbreaking things to see somebody. That's somebody's mama making the wrong decisions, hurting. It's terrible. No good joker get, get their hands on a sister and sell her. Cause she don't know no better, and he wicked as heck. You 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 selling the mother of earth? Joe crazy sir. Somebody's mother. 
She turns out to be some children's mother. And look what you did, messing with you, with your twisted self. Very ones hollering, you ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. Yeah, you got something to prove. Second Corinthians 13 and 5 told us to prove it to ourselves that the Messiah is in us. We're supposed to prove it to ourselves. Then he went and told us this. That, that he told us to be like a form to this world will be transformed, changed by the renewing of your mind. The only way you're going to change is you got to change the way you think. When the word came and knocked and we heard the word, it, it came and knocked and it knocked on our heart, which is really your thinking, not the muscle in your chest. The word came and knocked on the door of your heart. The believer let him in, let the word in. Stood at the door and knocked, you heard the word, you opened up and you let the word in. When you receive the word, it changed your stinking thinking. That's where it go down. How you think? Yeah. We should be thinking about Yah now, about the word now. We should be grateful that he was willing to live the perfect example and down the tree for you and me. Rose again with all power. Then he came and baptized himself without the body back inside of us to lead and guide us into all truth. The word came back and was baptized inside of us after it was found a uh, fashion as a man. John 1 and 14 said, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. How? Because it was manifested as a man. And the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. It was found fast as a man. So he humbled himself on the death, even the death on that tree for you and me. And be not conformed to uh, 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 Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be changed, transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why? Because he put, he, he, he got some work for you to do. Are y'all with me? He, he got some work for you to do. You, there's some work for you to do. I dare you to have a prove it list. Anything that you seem like you can't overcome or have not overcome, it's time for you to overcome it because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. It's time for you to write it down on the list. Lust, lying, lazy, I hold, I hold grudges. I hate, I hate my mama. Put it on the list. And then prove. Oh, talk back to me. Prove you saved. Y'all gonna make me go back and read it again? Okay, I will. Keep Romans 12, because we ain't done with it yet. I'm gonna read it again. 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith, you do it. And you're doing it for you. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith, and then prove it. Prove you saved. Now that you examine yourself, because we'll, we'll examine ourselves, it's all me and y'all, it's cool. But you're a liar, though. How cool is y'all? Not everyone that says unto me, Adonai, Adonai. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom. For many shall say unto me in that day, having I prophesied thy name, cast out devils, and done many wonderful works. Then he's going to say, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye to work iniquity. Iniquity is sin. How you and y'all so cool? Let you tell her y'all cool. You sleeping with your partner husband and you and y'all is cool? You serious right now? You believe that? Good to see you in here, Banks. Are you serious right now? You are serious, huh? That's why Second Timothy, uh, the second chapter, sa sa says that uh, y'all will send you a, a strong delusion that you believe a lie, that they all might be damned who don't have the love of the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Listen. Examine yourself, whether you be in the, in the faith, and prove it. Prove you saved. Know you not your own self. How did the Mashiach is in you? Except you be reprobate. Back to Romans 12, y'all. Twelve and one. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Living. Good, healthy. Strong, pretty, handsome. Bring your body. Yah's property. Bring your body. Present it. Give it to him. Made a vow and I won't take it back. Give him your body. Come on, you. Come here. 
Present your body holy and acceptable on the Yah and is reasonable. It's your only worship. And be not conformed to this world. But be transformed. Why got to be transformed? Because you was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. You was already conformed to this world. But now he's telling you not to be. Them days is over. If any man be the Messiah, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You got a new program now. And be not conformed to this world. But be transformed, changed. How? By the renewing of your mind. How you think? And that change it. How you been thinking all your life? How you been thinking? How was you thinking when you was taking them drugs? How was you thinking when you was starting them fights? How was you thinking when you was, come on, when you was holding the grudges and lusting? How was you thinking when you was in a strip club? What you did in Vegas stayed in Vegas. How was you thinking? Stinking thinking? Funny style and two-faced it. How was you thinking? I'll beat you. How was you think? I'll beat you. Say something. I'll, how was you thinking? Be not conformed to this world. That's how you used to be. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. Change. How? By the renewing of your mind. You got to change the way you think. Oh, you got to change the way you think. Why does he want you to change the way you think? That you may prove. <laughs> this is the Prove It series, ain't it? I think it's Prove It 6 too, isn't it? That you may prove what's good, acceptable in his perfect will. I ain't got to prove nothing. Come on, talk back to me. I'm talking to the stinking thinking. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. What'd you say, Bishop? <laughs> what you say, deaconess? Deacon, what you say? You ain't got to do what? What Bible you carry? I ain't got to prove... I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody but God. Have you ever said that? Have you ever said that? Put a one in here if you ever said that. Tell the truth. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody but God. Put a one in there if you said that. Be honest. I'm going to lighten up, y'all, but be honest. Put a one in there if you ever said, I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody but God. You didn't even say y'all at that time, did you? Put a one in there if you said that. Because it looked like Taylor said it heck of time. Put a one in there. <laughs> I know I said it. You got me twisted. But I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody but God. Who you talking to? Well, look what this say. Was you right? Well, you was wrong. Was you right when you said that? You was wrong. You know what you was talking about. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what's good. You proved it to people. Second Corinthians 13 5, you proved it to yourself. Because if you can pull off 2 Corinthians 13 and 5 and prove it to yourself, that's a part of your mind renewal package. If you can prove it to yourself, then you understand why you should and you could prove it to others. That men might see your good works and magnify your father which is in heaven. You'll be able to walk in the spirit of love on a level that people don't even understand. You'll walk in the necessary level of selflessness. I ain't going to bed with you and kill my witness. Kill your soul. You already church hurt. Then I'm going to turn around uh, uh, and I got the word in me. That's what Romans 1 was talking about, holding the truth and unrighteousness. I got the word in me, but I'd rather talk slick to you, girl. Come here, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab your Bible, too. Come here. Come here, girl. Sit right here. I'm not going to bite you. You know. <laughs> And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, changed by the renewing. Stop thinking like that. 
by the renewing of your mind. You think wrong. Something wrong with your thinking. Something wrong with your thinking. You want to be like the Mashiach? He came down 75 generations. From the garden to, 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 to Abraham, he parted the 42nd generation. Grabbed the faith of Abraham to solidify who we would be born of. He came down 75 generations from when Yah said, yeah, from in the beginning, when Adam said, he came down 75 generations, right? With the first prophecy, he said the seed of the woman would bruise the head of the serpent, the serpent head would bruise his heel. First prophecy, that the seed of the woman, somebody will be born of a woman that's going to set a, a, a Hasetan straight. Go set the record straight. The seed of a woman will bruise the head. Came down 75 generations. After he said the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent. Stopped at Abraham because of his faith. And said, okay, I won't be born of his flesh. When the world was made flesh, it was Abraham's flesh. Because he had faith. He stopped and grabbed the faith of Abraham. And then from Abraham went on to the birth of Mary. I believe that was Ab Abraham's niece, wasn't it? The bloodline of Abraham. And the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. To prove his love for us. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He proved it. Then he passed the baton to us. I ain't got nothing. Yeah, you got something to prove. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody, but he wants people to see your good works, see that you're a new creation, because if any man be the Messiah, he's a new creation, old things have passed away, but all things have become new. Listen. Listen. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, change, tra transform, change, 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 change. Oh, change me, y'all. Change, change, cause, 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 cause I want to prove some stuff. How many y'all? How many y'all got a different outlook now? How many y'all want to prove that you belong to y'all? Not only to yourself, but to others too. How many y'all want to at this point? Put a two in here if you want to. If you want to prove, if you want to prove. If you want, come on, prove, prove that you're not hot. You're not a thought. You're not a gangster. You're not a prankster. Come on, come on. how many of y'all want to prove that you're a mother, a real mother, a father, a real father? How many of y'all want to prove, prove, pr come on, talk back to me, prove you decent? Oh, how many of y'all want to prove you decent? I know what they called you in high school. I know what they called you in college, but how many of y'all, come on, go through a mind renewal. <laughs> Yeah, it used to be a dope thing. Yeah, yeah. You was violent, little bully. Talk back to me. But now you change. Come on, how many of y'all want to? How many of y'all know you? I got something to prove? Not only to myself, but I got something to prove to y'all's children. I don't talk back to me. And I want to. I want to prove it. Is we good? Are you sure? Is there anything I can do for you? Victoria, always a pleasure. We praying with you too, sis. You hang in there. We still in the Prove It series. We in Romans 12 and 2. We got something to prove here. Prove, prove. We, we willing to prove it to the world that I've been changed. Uh-huh. I've been changed. Hallelujah. I've been changed. I've been changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been changed. How many of y'all have been changed? I'm probably about done with the Prove It series at this point. But how many of y'all have been changed? Did y'all enjoy the Prove It series? Put a three in here if you got something out this Prove It series. Put, 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 a, put, put a three in here if you got something out to prove it serious. And y'all gonna call and ready to prove not only to yourself that you belong to Yah by living the life 
by being transformed. How many of y'all got something out to prove this series? Hallelujah. How many of y'all got something out this series? Hmm? And now and now you ready not only to prove it to yourself, but to prove it to others. How many of y'all willing to prove it to others? Put a phone in here. Right on, Victoria. It's a good one, too. Put a phone in here if you're willing to prove it to others. You ain't going to run around here and tell me, I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. Put a phone in here if you're willing to prove it to other people that you say. Knowing that your life is an open book read of all men. Folks going to have an opinion of you. And you want their opinion of you to be y'all. All folks ain't going to have nothing good to say about you. But it's not going to be because of you. You want them to see the y'all in you. You want a big example. Come on, talk back to me. You want to be the head and not the tail. The influencer and not the influence. You ain't influencing me with that garbage you talking about. I'm influencing you to get closer to the most high. Oh, talk back to me. You ain't influencing me because you don't like me. I'm influencing you because I like you. Come on, talk back to me. Overcome overcome uh, evil with good. I'm not overcome by evil. Uh, I'm not losing my good because of your evil. Oh, talk back to me. I got something to prove. I got something to prove. Good to see you in here, Manny. I got something to prove, and I'm going to prove it, too. Hallelujah. So uh, I'm willing to prove it to myself. I'm willing to prove it to others. And I definitely want to prove it to Yah that I made a vow to him and I won't take it back. If y'all were proving it to Yah, put a five on it and we done. Put a five on it. We out of here. Let's pray. Give me a five, y'all. Give me five on it. That was the Prove It series. Let's pray. Spirit of the living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Help me to know how gleaning the truth of thy word. Thy word is truth. Thank you for illuminating your children. And give us heart and the mind to prove we say. All in all, through and through. I just want to prove it. I don't even want to prove it to you. I want to prove to you how much, how much, how much, how much we I love you. And it's not that I loved you. You first loved me. And now I'm learning to love you back. I'm learning to reciprocate and love you back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yah, for everything you've done. Continue, continue the process. Continue the transformation process. Hallelujah. And we'll be careful for you to praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. 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 And I'm on. That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the most I say. Okay? Okay. And okay. Um, I really enjoyed this lesson. I got a lot out of it myself. And, and I'm and I'm and I'm excited that you guys were blessed as well. Um I plan to start like hitting topics moving forward in series. I can't say I'm going to do it every time because the most high will move me to do things, you know, other things as well. But I want to attack that, that line of teaching. I had a talk with Keisha and um, that was a suggestion she made and I meditated on it and I agreed. <laughs> I agree. And so bless y'all. Um, I love y'all. Thank everybody that tag, y'all. That's it, right? I thank everybody to share. Thank everybody push the share button. Share your platform with the word. That, yeah, that helps. Uh, extra digital uh, pulpits. That helps. Uh, when you tag, you're inviting people in. He told us to go out in the highways and hedges and compel people to come. A way of doing that is tagging. We should use our boots, too. But we can let our fingers walk. Remember back in the day, let your fingers do the walking through the yellow pages? Oh, well, it's easier now. You just hit the screen. So thank everybody to tag, tag, tag. I love it. And thank everybody that financially supports this ministry.
May the Most High prosper you. I speak a blessing on you. May the Most High prosper according to his word. May the Most High prosper you for your willingness to support this ministry. And I say thank you. Uh, Y'all want to talk about it some more? Pray. All you got to do is dial 302 202. 1102 extension 815648. Again, 302 202 1102 extension 815648. If y'all want to talk about it some more, continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Brock Shalom.